in YouTube, welcome back. We are here with more of the Texas Beach Emperor. So we're on episode 10 currently, so let's get straight into it before we get started. You know the vibes. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm quads. Check us out over on Twitch. I stream every single day over on there. And um, it's Alicia X Life on there, Alicia X Death here on the channel. So make sure you come through and hang out. It's a vibe. Anyways, let's get into it. Wah! 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 It's like Wi-Fi, but with fire. <laughs> Not Lay Miz, bro. <laughs> Not with Lay Miz, bro. <laughs> Jean Valjean! <laughs> and asses. <laughs> <laughs> Different change. Before you say another word, you better you burn me like a heretic. Oh my god, it's so good! I was <laughs> this woman leaves behind a suffering child. <laughs> there is none but me who can intercede. In the Emperor's name, three days. This are all I need. <laughs> then I'll return. I pledge my word. Then I'll return. You must make me mad. I want the few who are across the years. <laughs> you can never change. Yet. You. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty similar to the plot because he does end up killing himself. So, like. Either him getting taken out or him killing himself ends up with the same result. He ends up dead. So fair, fair game. <laughs> fair game. <laughs> Get his nasty ass off this motherfucking toilet. What the fuck? Hey, it's Yodor. Isn't it boring around here? Like, incredibly boring? Be quiet, Doc. It's what I just said. No, I'm sorry. Right. I was laughing at the subtitle. Hold on. Hold on. Isn't it boring around here? Like, One incredibly second. boring. <laughs> Annoyed inquisitorial grunt. <laughs> That's actually so good. <laughs> Be quiet, Doc. It's what I just said. No, that's what I just said. You know what would be fun? Letting me sit on your throne. I've always dreamed of being up on that throne and all the bitches. Um, things I could do up there. Okay, never mind. Said, <laughs> <"Quiet."> <laughs> <Give me your laughs> head. No, you be quiet. Uh, can someone feed the goat so he quiets down? We're trying to do important high lord things here. Go, oh, little Billy! Now, to the business at hand. Yeah. What were, were we discussing? I don't know. Something relating to banning the breathing of air from anyone that is not us. I love Terra that. There are one of the few natural resources left on Terra, and if all of the normals use it, there'll be none left for us. Time and time, tell me how to preserve, to place your lungs with some care. <laughs> well then, if we do replace our lungs with circuits, like this motherfucker for real, I would inc I would be inclined for us to be in a better predicament because we would not need the resource anymore, right? <laughs> well, I'm not sure. My general. I think what we should also be more concerned is that he has a colon issue where his colon literally fell out. So I feel like <laughs> our if we're gonna start circuiting up these old motherfuckers for real, we gotta start caring about those those problems first. Well, to my command, whatever it is, they are commanded again, and I don't. I usually seem to generate currents of air right before I have to poo. Wait, <laughs> isn't breathing important? I don't remember. I'm gonna lay down. Oh. Oh. <laughs> isn't breathing air important? I'm gonna go lay down. <laughs> He's so sweet. That's how I handle. 
handle anything in life. I don't remember. Was it? Was it? Huh? I'm just gonna. <laughs> How to do it myself? Oh hey, are you the guys I sent to buy my sandpaper cigarettes? The custodies are dickheads. They're lathered in oil and sins, for they are heretics. <laughs> I really need my fix of nicotine and throat laceration. God damn, I motherfucker! I <laughs> always sound so calm and sexy. <laughs> hey, chat. <laughs> he sounds calm and sexy to you, right? <laughs> That's your type, right? Because, <laughs> uh. God damn. <laughs> what is it that you want? Don't we three have some sewers to investigate? We were confronted by three custodies while interrogating some citizens. Custodies? You're joking me, are you not? The custodies never make the Imperial powers. They were right there, though. And the custodies told us that the Emperor really is the one who sent the message. In the name of a thousand dead fucking heretics, are you saying? Kiss for these honey we are looking for. Well, in that case, we're all walking straight into the Ooh. Palace and taking those new bags of with us. Hold your mega chairs for just a moment, Inquisitor. What do you think you are doing? Shut up, dickhead. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> Don't stop standing oh. around there all silent and dead like an unplugged fucking mechanicus it out and tell me who these space marines are. This anticipation is for some reason killing me. Uh -huh. Then again, I'm a decaying corpse, so that might also be a contributing factor. True. Well, they are renowned in the Imperium for stealing a lot of relics from both other chapters and factions within the Imperium. Oh, classic it's British really Museum. There. They do it or exactly why, but they have somehow managed to amass a astounding amount of orchid due to this. So what are they called? I believe they're called... The British? <laughs> the... The... Um... Something. Actually, I don't remember. Wait the fucking go, dodo head. <laughs> you just reached a whole new level of stupid. The disappointing kind of stupid. Come to think of it, did you say chapter? As in, only a singular chapter within an entire legion is good at this? Oh no no my lord, they are not part of a legion. Why the fuck would there ever exist a single chapter outside of a legion? Well, you see, seven years after the war's heresy, an event took place known as the Second Founding. The Second Founding? Oh man, this already sounds about as unnecessary as the Dark Eldar. Wasn't the appropriately uh, named only founding good <laughs> enough? Actually, I think the name was I like the Dark Eldar, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> really? I think wow. catches threes, man! <laughs> excess of stupid. Yeah, anyway, the Primarch of the Ultramarine Swap Group Covenant. My singular cybernetic, I just detected a large rise in ignorance and hubris in this room from the mere mention of that name. <laughs> created the Codex Astartes, which is a set of rules and guidelines that nowadays is used by thousands of space marine chapters throughout the galaxy. Thousands? The Codex Astartes became the foundation for a second founding, as Cullen and Decreed that all legions still loyal were to be split up and organized into armies consisting of roughly ten companies each. One of these chapters were to retain their parent legion's original name, symbol, and color scheme, while the others could basically go and do whatever they wanted with that. So now we've got fucking Ultramarine babies spread out across the entire galaxy, all secluded from the rest of the Imperium to form their own beliefs, dogmas, and hatreds inspired by the original, which was already an enormous pile of stupid to begin with. Seriously, are you actively trying to make my own life even more difficult? Um, well... It is what it is! This dumb book has split up the Imperium's mighty bulwark and made it into a rotten picket fence that even a small child could break down. What made you people think that this was a good idea? But my lord, Garland's intentions were noble. He recognized that in order for something like the Horus Heresy to not ever be possible again, the massive marine armies should be separated and spread out. And now does he know activity is more rampant throughout the galaxy than ever? Yes. But we have less issues with trifling bitches. <laughs> Correct? Indeed. <laughs> External issues? Difficult. 
<laughs> Perhaps the girly man's head wasn't stuck so far up his butt. Certainly guessing his own ass, he would have proofread his work before publishing it. For all we know right now, there could be hundreds of chapters out there pledging their allegiance to chaos. Or perhaps even worse. And I mean... <laughs> pledging to chaos isn't so bad, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> And we have no fucking idea about it or a way to stop. This is my sign up list. Any registrants? Any registrants? Would you like to sign up for chaos? Anyone? Anyone? I'll get the pen. You sign it in blood, though. You just gotta go into your arm. <laughs> because all our defenses are so thinly spread, there could even be chapters consoling and accepting both scenes. You're gonna keep stabbing yourself with the pen because it brings me pleasure. And then you stab me with a pen because it gives me even greater pleasure. <laughs> oh. Chaos worshippers oh. into the ranks. Maybe even chapters so fucking reclusive and historically inept that their mere existence sound like something out of a disgustingly horrible and shitty fan fiction. <laughs> Do you guys have a feeling we're being shit on really hard right now? <laughs> uh, we're always being shat on. Oh. Go fish. Fuck you thought you the were in this poker game, but it was actually I, Fresh! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking damn the guildsmen. Speaking of which, did you tell them to cut his life support yet? It is very fucking important. Actually, when you've done that, make sure to bring that status field power adapter here. I might need that extra power to charge my data slate to play whatever new Battle Mace 42 million game is out or whatever else might exist. Not Call of Duty though, they seriously need to stop releasing those shitty fucking rehash games every year. Right, my lord, I'll make sure not to forget it this time. <laughs> Actually, I think I've um, only played COD once in my entire life. I think it was Modern Warfare 2 on my friend's Xbox 360. <laughs> And I played it for maybe five minutes, put down the controller, curled up in a blanket, and continued to watch them play instead. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been like, ah, yes. <laughs> I don't remember, dude. I was in middle school. <laughs> I have no recollection. I remember sitting on the couch, though, and being like, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> to think of it, are the Ultramarines somehow connected to all bad things that has happened for the last 10,000 years? It feels like we keep bringing them up all the time. Well, they have kind of become the poster boys of the Imperium, so we can't really avoid mentioning them. Oh, speaking of which, I actually remember the name of that feeding chapter now. Really? What is it then? The name of the chapter is the Blood <laughs> <laughs> Man, Blood Raven's getting fucked right now. But anyways, let's go to the custodies that we care about. My oil swixy to Mexico store. Oh, sorry for interrupting you, kitten. But we have something <laughs> very important. Sorry for interrupting you, kitten. <laughs> oh shit, it's my eternal torment upon this throne made manifest again. You see? We were outside the palace, traveling through the spires of terror. Mm. But we noticed that everything was on fire. Not in the usual sacred incense burning way, either. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Apparently, there are inquisitors running amok all around the planet. They are looking for the one who sent that message demanding the disbanding of the Inquisition and the Adaptus Smith story. So they have arrived. Oh, the Imperator varies. Really? Really. I suggest we go to the High Lords immediately. Perhaps the Inquisitorial representative. Can be argued with. If not, we can just get home. Eat him or something. There is no time to be lost. Let's go. I'm fucking. <laughs> I don't know, we'll eat him or something. You know, like a little snacky. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I was foolish to believe you would hold a promise like this one. You are untrustworthy filth. Not ever worthy of the Emperor's blessing. I am the only one here worthy of the Emperor's blessing. I am the only one who's going to save him from his very own corrupted bodyguard. God damn. Not entering the palace, Theodore. I would like to see you try and stop me. I'll gladly show you. Guards! <laughs> I'm sorry. The little roar at the end was so cute. You violate the law!
Right. <laughs> Yoda, we're surrounded. Be quiet, Dominic. Well, here we are. <laughs> Long last, I can put you and your miserable little cult away. Never to interfere with the Emperor's will again. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Foolish. Foolish food! Oh, shit! Oh! Hey, who's the Ark? We're gonna light you up. Like a sandpaper cigarette. If I had one! <laughs> Man, if only I had sandpaper cigarettes that I could have such a glorious voice like him. <laughs> uh, uh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, if you and the rest of Terra do not meet my demands, I will have this entire room and all of its inhabitants fall prey to my throne of judgment. Mm. It's too bad for you that this passive decree is still in effect, isn't it? Fear are you absolute ass. Oh, don't feel too bad. <laughs> At least my melt will fly away from this existence instead of splattering your blood across the floor. Because that was your primary concern, wasn't it? I mean, I'm still down for the napkin theory that I brought up last episode, <laughs> okay? Again, I really didn't think of fire. I thought of napkins. <laughs> no. I am going into that palace, <laughs> and I alone will save the Emperor and the Imperium of Man! Oh, that's the end of season one? Oh, that's so cool! Okay! Oh, fantastic! I had so much fun for the first season! God damn! Well, thank you so much for watching! Super duper appreciated YouTube for those of you guys over on the Twitch channel, or for those of you guys who are over on YouTube and want to check out the Twitch channel. Don't forget, it's Alicia X Life. You're currently watching Alicia X Death. Alicia X Life is my Twitch. Anyways, we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for your love and support always. Goodbye!